Same broadcast. Go. I'll start then. Hi, Internet. Hi, Internet. It says DS-106 on the back, but eventually we're going to get away from the mothership and have... Whoa. What? Oh, <laughs> Martha's watching. Right. Um, <laughs> oh, it's weird. Uh, so I'm Joe Kalpin. I'm Lee Ann Ellis. Nice I'm Lee name. Elzebub on uh, the internet, the, the Twitter. Twitter. I'm Bakhtin Jolly. And today we're going to be talking... I thought it was Bakhtin Jolly. I don't know. Bakhtin. Bakhtin. Anyway, um, <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about a project that we started thinking of just after Faculty Academy. We're working, yeah. If you want to uh, introduce how we got to this project and a little bit about it. Well, why don't you tell them what the project is first. Okay. So we're doing sort of a hunt <gasps> to understand the uh, PhD in general, what are some of the issues there, finding jobs, doing a career, and going through grad school. Uh, we're going to be more specifically looking at the humanities, but the sciences are also there as well. Uh, however, we made the intellectual choice that the sciences and humanities have I know she's still transparent. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing, Lee. I'm the invisible woman. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, so um, we're, but uh, the, the sciences we understand, are, it's a very different realm. It's a very different issue. Um, so we'll be looking primarily at the humanities, and Lee is going to be introducing how we came across this topic. We came across this topic. We came across this topic because um, both me and Joe are interested in grad school um, in some respect. I'd like to most likely pursue something in new media and be a professor at some point or at least work in academia. And Joe, what is it that you had in mind of doing? Um, actually, I want to do Chinese history, but if I had to choose something else, I'd also like to be Jeff McClurkin. Because he's a commie. Whoa. He also wants to be Jeff McClurkin. I also would like to be Jeff McClurkin. He has a really good beard. Have you seen that? Just I've seen him. It's a classy beard. Uh, anyway, so, but, but really, this, this issue of wanting to do grad school isn't the thing that got us to the project. Right. It was mostly that we kept hearing that being, uh, that going for professor, to be a professor is pretty darn... Impossible. Yes, the sense that we got. Um, and and it... Oh, go. And Joe, well, you were kind of like, okay, okay, taking all this advice, and so we'd talk about it. And then at a certain point, I was hearing it, and I got a little mad because I was hearing a lot of don't really do it, don't expect, don't, don't, do it. don't do it, pretty much. And so I was like, nobody's, I was like, okay, I understand that it's really, it's going to be really, really hard to get a job as a professor or whatever it is that I end up wanting to do. Nonetheless, I still want to try. Right. And, and I wasn't hearing a whole lot of advice on how to go about doing that anyway. And uh, at DTLT, we have a number of people who have uh, a very grim outlook on how the PhD works, what's the possibility of running with it. Um, and even at Faculty Academy, we ran into a few uh, conference goers that were also uh, sort of disparaging that, that academic track or, or maybe aren't very satisfied with what they came out, came out with with their PhD and what were the opportunities afterwards. So we were kind of confused as to why that was. So that's where the project stemmed from. That's where we, we, we decided, well, Joe decided, why don't we make this into a project? And I love projects. He does. <laughs> So this way we get information, we get thorough information about it from many people. Yeah, what were, uh, I think a, a brief snapshot of the project. And then we can share that information with everybody else. Yeah, with everybody else. Um, I, I'm sure all of you are aware of a video that came out. Um, I forget who actually did it. It was sort of like with the kind of robot computery voices, but with funny animations. Um, and the video was entitled, So You Want to Get Your PhD in the Humanities. And this girl walks in, she has like pigtails, and like, oh, I'm a college student. I haven't Extra seen Normal, that. thank you, Andy. Uh, so there was a video done by Extra Normal, uh, and it was, So You Want Your PhD in the Humanities. 
and it's an office. There's a there's a woman sitting behind the desk, an older woman, and a student goes, "Hello, I want to be a college professor." And the professor goes, um, "What? You know, you realize you'll end up in somewhere in the like, bumfuck like Nebraska? Do you do you realize that you'll be making less than the janitor of the college that you'll be working at?" I want to live a life of the mind. <laughs> um, and while I don't think either of us are necessarily that um, confused, I think confused is a good word, or naive about what that looks like. I think naive is the word. Um, but there... Look, uh, I'm playing to marry Rich, so... <laughs> I don't know what Joe's going to do. I actually have a really great cardboard box a spot for my cardboard box out in D.C. Uh, I'm really looking forward and to it. And he's good with martial arts, so he can defend himself and his small bit of turf. It's true. Um, anyway, but many of the faculty members at Mary Washington, as well as our friends who have their PhDs, uh, in their conversations with us, have been very frank. This has been bad. The uh, ability, your ability to really get a job is, is, is minimal. Uh, you know, maybe... Um. I've heard a lot of professors who have been like, we're the lucky ones. I know so many other friends who've done well and in grad school and are, you know, very qualified that just, just didn't get the job. So Right. And there's something like a, a fifty percent dropout rate for people trying to get their PhD. Uh, you'll have maybe fifty candidates for the all of twelve jobs that are available across the United States. And at this point what we want to understand is what are the what are the stories of the lucky ones? What are the stories of the unlucky ones? Um, and then how should we as students deal with these in pursuing a more academic career? I don't know if you had other thoughts to add to that. I don't think so. I think. Okay. Well, maybe if you want to talk about how we would like to present the information or the things well, that we're going to be uh, doing. Well, another thing I would like I would like to it's like. Um, uh, that that we're still that we're still interested nonetheless in pursuing this. this uh, yeah, dream. that's the other thing. We're still interested, despite the fact that people tell us no. Maybe the no makes us that much more interested. I maybe. Okay. Well. Um, I'm sorry. I'm being a bad no. You're just fine. Here. <laughs> um, anyway, so what we're also trying to do is collect all of these stories and do interviews, but also um, we're trying to do a list of readings maybe that deal with uh, issues in higher education, that deal with getting your grad, going to grad school, getting your doctorate, or... The changes in um, what the, the, um, the opportunities in, in getting the business, uh, getting into academia were, and, and what they've kind of become, and how that's changed. Um, so, with, with that in mind, we're trying to create a, a sort of bibliography to be reading over the summer. I think that's the other thing. Uh, we're we're trying to have this project be just a very quick, a short summer project and finish everything up by August. Uh, actually, if you want to talk a little bit about what maybe that finished product product should look like, we're going to be um, the ultimate design is to have a uh, a website where we're going to put most of our um, information. We are thinking of um, doing some um, interviews. Well, yeah, interviews. <laughs> We're going to do a lot of interviews, um, hopefully, and so those will um, also hopefully be recorded and, you know, well documented and put up on the site, on the web. Um, I would personally like to make an article out of it that I could, um, that could possibly be published in the bullet later. Um, and I know Joe has some interest in making a kind of documentary video deal. After I saw all of Michael Wesh's stuff, it's like... Everything must be a YouTube video. Everything. Yeah. And and Tom Woodward's little quick capture of... Yeah. Um, um, that was the other thing. Faculty Academy also really inspired a lot of this, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, but if you take anything away from this video, it's the fact that we need readings. Uh, and we started bringing that up, and we want to be able to, from basically this upcoming Monday until... Like the next... We have like two weeks, two weeks to get all of the readings that we want to get done, like right. a list of the readings that we want to get done. So if you have any um, suggestions for us, please, please send them, even if you're not sure if they're 
per they would pertain to what we want to do, just go ahead and send it to them. We'd appreciate it a lot. And you can tweet that to either the Elzebub and I. You know, I should realize we should have had some little lower third that says like email at whatever whatever. Yeah. Um. No, I can't write it down. Oh, you can totally it, write it down. I'd have to get it up to the. Yeah, you can do it. You can right. you can write that down. Well, tell tell them more. Okay. Anyway, um. So the types of readings. Oh, that oh, right. But tweet it or email or DS106 hashtag it. So we'll see it because we follow those. Yeah, we follow the DS106. And on that note, if you are, if you if you have a story to tell that's similar to what we're doing, contact us too so that we can perhaps interview you. We'd be interested in doing that. So you're helping us kill two birds with one, one stone. stone. Yes. Um, and so all the we're trying to do is first get a wide set of readings. So what does it maybe look like to get your PhD in history? And also if you have blog recommendations, anyone who's blogging about being a PhD student or a master's student, perfectly fine. Um, because basically what we want to be able to do is have a really good lay of the land uh, before we start doing these interviews. And if you're also interested in doing an inter interview, again, you can just drop us a line, which would be quite wonderful. We'd love to talk to you. Um, the type of people that we're looking for, uh, we'd love to hear fr from ed tech specialists. We'd like to hear from people who are currently uh, in a PhD program. Uh, those who are just getting out there and maybe are adjuncts, as well as tenure track professors. Oh, there's an. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to get really close to the screen, and hopefully, you'll be able to see the uh, our Twitter names. Here you go. Here you go. Tell me if it's good. <laughs> uh, there we go. There's mine. Lower. <laughs> We're so high tech, and there's Lee. Um, we apologize. This is probably something we should have prepared in advance. This is the kind of TV that Jim Groom would love. Yeah, Jim Groom would love this. Um, but that's another thing, like, good TV, man. Um, just example stories, talking about Jim Groom, someone who went through the process of, you know, going through doctoral, uh, going to get his doctorate, and then stopping right at the dissertation. We got tweets! Oh, nice. Oh, thank you, Timmy boy. I love you. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm so busy looking at myself. <laughs> So gorgeous. Uh, anyway, so someone like Jim Groom who decides, you know what, uh, this isn't worth it. Well, why isn't it worth it? What are you doing instead? And I think Jim is actually a good example of someone who does something counter to getting a PhD, who manages to get right to the brink, and instead of throwing the ring into the pit of Mordor, decides to keep it and kind of walk around <laughs> with it. Not to say that Jim Groom is Gollum or any of those characters. Uh -huh. Although sometimes I wonder. I'm glad Jim isn't Gollum. here. He'd be throwing something at me. <laughs> So that's that's basically what we're looking for, um, and it it should be a really wonderful project. I'm very interested in it. Um, I'm excited about all the work that it's going to be. <gasps> that's so good. I'm glad you're excited about it. Uh, so again, no, but I really am. I'm excited. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, if you have any suggestions of how this project should take shape, you know, oh, maybe you guys should have a bunch of YouTube videos put out. Um, you know, maybe like a YouTube channel, these sorts of issues. Yeah, any suggestions? Let's see what we, the comments that we've gotten. We've gotten a comment from, do, do you want to go with the comment? Go, go for it. To me boy has commented in our chat room. How nice, thank you so much, shout out. Love you, to me boy. From, okay, he says, <laughs> for me the concern is always return on investment. How much do you spend compared to how much do you learn? Uh, he thinks that some programs can provide a better experience in that um, regard than others, and and thank you. Yeah. So it is a very interesting topic. And and that's okay. <laughs> and, what? Um, and that's really the thing. Uh, what we understand as undergrads at Mary Washington is that the PhD is something that okay, you first you take your GRE, so you have to. Study, 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 and actually, to be honest, I really don't know a whole lot about how to get in, how to get into grad school. So this is also good in that sense. Okay. I honestly don't. Um, also, if you have GRE horror stories or any horror stories at all, uh, you know, 
that would be also kind of fun. Um, but basically, you know, having to do the GREs, having to go through the grad school application process, and then sit with overly competitive students with professors that maybe aren't as nice as your undergrad professors were. Um, you know, we understand that there's that sort of difficulty, but I think the reality of what happens once you get done with that is something that even when somebody tells you, it's difficult to understand. And hopefully, hearing lots of voices and lots of stories, we can create a, a better picture of what life after a PhD looks like, life during a PhD looks like. Um, something that's beyond just gloom and doom or, oh, it was wonderful. Yeah, that's the thing. I understand the gloom and doom stories, but I'm kind of tired of hearing them. I want some advice. Like, I want some critical, like, or constructive, useful stuff. Yeah. I understand the, 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 the horror stories, but what we're looking for is, I think. I think the reality of it as well. Yeah. Um, it's very easy and sort of, uh, yes, Martha Burris, I actually need some diapers because um, it's, is it a birthday present? It's his, it's Joe's birthday. <laughs> He's graduated to diapers. Oh, this is so beautiful. Feliz cumpleaños. <laughs> this is wonderful. I um He's graduated up. I am now twenty two. How old? How much older almost can you get, Joe? Jeez. And I'm almost ready to be potty trained. This may be the last thing of diaper I'll you ever have, have to, to use. Yeah. Until I'm like seventy. Joe, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Uh so that's that's basically what we have. Um so again, as a recap, we are looking for people to uh, do we're looking for readings, uh, and if you're interested, we also have a Zotero group going. We can kind of show you the background for that. Hey, look, all the crazy things we're doing right here. So we're calling it the Grad School RAR. Uh, oh wait, what? of course I would forget to hit go. Hold please. And go. Cool. Um, so we're, we're still sort of deciding that. And again, this project is in its like super infancy. Uh, we really just started thinking about this less than a week ago. Yep. Yeah, about that. So um, anyway, as also as a wrap up, if you're interested in doing interviews, drop us a line. Uh, we're interested in talking about, about this to anyone and everyone who's interested. Um, and maybe if you could sort of talk a little bit about Faculty Academy, because I feel like Faculty Academy was also sort of a catalyst that got us thinking about this as well. Maybe, was that, like, I don't know, me being at Faculty Academy and talking to different professors. And oh, well, that yeah, proximity. that's part of it. I mean, I mean, yeah, Faculty Academy, um, it was my first Faculty Academy, so, uh, I mean, it was really cool to see professors um, doing what they do and getting to... Um, well, like starting to understand like the uh, what it what it means to be a professor, and I kind of figure out whether or not you know that's something that I guess I or you would want to do. Um, but we had a few conversations um, that just I mean I don't know. Yeah, I it's just that to me Faculty Academy it's great because we were able to as undergrads you know see into the upper echelons into the clouds of the ivory tower. Um, yeah, that was pretty darn cool. And and hear about what the professors are reading and what they're talking about and hang out with them at the wine and cheese reception. <laughs> um, I call some of them by their first names. Who that do you call by their first name? I don't know. You know, McClurkin? Or no, 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 Tom Woodward. Tom Woodward. I went. I go, hey, Mr. Woodward. And he's like, oh, no, call me, call me Tom. Call me Tom. And I'm, I'm also okay. seeing Timmy Boy. That was nice. 
I hugged him a little bit. I was like, I love you, Timmy boy. Um, but it put us in a, in a pro really close proximity and having these conversations and going like, wow. This is really cool. I'd love to be a part of this. I would it's love to so be a part of this. It's so close, and yet we keep being told it's so far, far away. away. Um, and, and a happy face. It's true. And so what we're hoping to discover, and this isn't a project that says being a grad student's great, everyone should go be a grad student, but so far our project also isn't this sort of gloom and doom topic either. I think what we're looking to create is something that's based off of everyone's stories. You know, what really is the situation? What are the problems that our people are facing? Are there any commonalities in the narratives that we're hearing from people? Uh, I got to have a great talk with Gardner Campbell uh, and here, sort of almost the schizophrenic approach to grad school. It's, you know, it's great and mind-blowing on one hand, but also, you know, so stressful and almost crushing on the other. But it's both of these things at the same time. And maybe that's all our website will be saying. But at the same time, I think it's a wonderful and excellent exploratory project. That hopefully we'll get to share with, you know, our peers. And that that's one thing that I'm really... Um, I'm looking forward to be able to do is to share it with other people um, that are kind of in the same boat and are interested and who may not be in positions like we are to hear the truth where that we've been hearing. Oh my gosh. The truth is out there. The truth is somewhere out there. We're, we're going to find it. Are you, are you Scully? Or I don't know. I never watched it. So I can't tell you who my favorite is. Oh man. Well anyway, that's our project. Those are some of our ideas. <laughs> It was wonderful seeing you. Love you, Internet. And now the Internet knows it's my birthday. Ah! Ah! Wish okay. him happy birthday. Thank you.